Hey guys, what is up? This is Matthew Davis with the Movie Lover here, and I'm um, welcome back to another movie review. Uh, yeah guys, first of all, you're probably wondering, why don't I have this film on DVD or Blu-ray? And, uh, why am I reviewing this movie when I'm supposed to be reviewing the movies that I got for my birthday? Well, here's the thing. After watching some stuff about, hearing some stuff about this movie, um, that made me want to watch this movie. This is a film by Studio G. Blay, and that's called, um, Grave of the Fireflies, which is a film that I just got done watching. I rented it for, for like, a dollar. Yeah, I only rented it for a dollar, believe it or not. Please don't ask why, but anyways... I, I, I really enjoy Studio G Blaze's work, okay? I loved Spirited Away, which is one of my favorite um, animated movies of all time. And um, Ponyo, which is probably my fourth favorite Studio G Blaze movie. M my Neighbor Totoro, and um, uh, Secret World of Arietti, The Wind Rises, and um, a lot more of Studio Ghibli's movies I enjoyed. Uh, Kiki's Delivery Service, and there's a, there's a lot more that, um, apparently I have not seen Howl's Moving Castle or Princess Mononoke, but I know I've been missing out on those films, which I will watch as soon as possible. But anyways, yeah, Grave of the Fireflies came out the same year as My Neighbor Totoro, and pretty much I've heard tons of good things about this film. It got 97% on Rotten Tomatoes and 8.5 on IMDb. Yeah, holy shit. You know what I'm saying, guys? Uh, yeah. Um, they say that this is one of the most tragic and, one, and most saddest, depressing movies of all time. One of them. Because that's what this movie is kind of infamous for. Which I can say that I agree with that. But anyways, this involves um, uh, a teenage boy and his younger sister basically going through um, World War. Um, so basically what happens is, you know, they're trying to survive after their, after their mother has passed away. They have been going through, you know, just helping out each other and just keeping each other safe they basically stay with this um woman for a couple days then they try to see if they can live out on their own you know while a big war is going on and pretty much that's basically what happens in the film and um that's basically it yeah guys um even though i don't have a dvd or blu-ray of this which would i like to own this on dvd or blu-ray they do have a blu-ray of this would I like to own on Blu-ray? As a matter of fact, yes, I would. For... I mentioned this to my mom. This is kind of like the opposite of My Neighbor Totoro. You know how My Neighbor Totoro is like a really feel-good and happy movie and it has a really good ending? And it's about two siblings. This film's a lot different. This is like the tragic version of My Neighbor Totoro. But I can say I even I enjoyed this a lot more than My Neighbor Totoro. That's saying a lot. It might be a very tragic movie, but it's still an incredible movie. I loved it. All right, guys. Let me just say the premise of the movie. This this film just I can't believe they made two Studio Ghibli movies in one year. All right, um, really, or at least released on the same year. But pretty much. You know, Studio Ghibli is one of the best animated companies of all time. And pretty much, um, however, even though this movie doesn't have a rating, it's definitely a more mature audience. I mean, there is swear words, there is violence in this movie. It's not bloody, it's not a bloody movie. There is, like, mild scenes of blood, but pretty much, um, this film definitely had a lot more going for, alright? It had, it had a little bit of emotion to it. This film is absolutely no laughing matter. I mean, 
I mean, there's a lot of crying in this movie. And it's not like annoying crying, you know. It's just... It's crying that makes you upset, that makes you feel bad for the character. Not like Caillou, where you just want to laugh that he's crying. But anyways, um... Let me just say, the characters were very memorable. I forgot what the two main characters' names were, but... They were really memorable characters, alright? And, um... This film definitely was going for a mature audience, and let me just say... This film definitely worked out fantastically. I didn't even know this was released by Studio Ghibli. I mean, I've heard of the film, but I did not know it was released by Studio Ghibli until I watched WatchMojo.com's Top 10 Studio Ghibli Films. And pretty much, all I was talking about it made me want to watch the film. And I'm glad that I watched the film. You know, I did not stop until I, I didn't. I tried looking through the, the my thing that I was looking through so I could rent movies. I did not stop until I was able to watch the movie. And let me just say the animation. Let's get into the animation. The animation was just gorgeous. All right, it was incredible. Every single amount a second just blew me away. It, like when the fireflies start rising up and going everywhere. That 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 those scenes were just amazing I just couldn't believe what I was watching this film did not have a single flaw there was not a single thing that I hated about this movie there there was not a single flaw I had and that's the thing most war dramas are kind of slow but this film actually kind of picks up I wasn't bored with this film alright guy Alright, I wanted to watch every single second. I mean, I did have to get up and go in the kitchen to get dinner, but I still saw enough, so I was able to watch for, for me to review this movie for you guys. But guys, I definitely recommend this film, but if you're, if you're, it's definitely a film that's kind of hard to watch at the very end of the movie, and when you do watch the movie, and once you're done watching the movie, it kind of makes you not want to watch the movie again because of how tragic it is. But I can say you you can watch it for its incredible animation and its well done plot. It definitely holds up to today. I thought this movie was fantastic. Definitely one of my favorite animated movies of the 80s. Alright guys. And my overall score, I definitely give this movie 5 out of 5. It was incredible. So that is it for this review, you guys, and I'll see you guys later. Word out.